Hey guys, this is uh, Mark Wessling again. I've got a, um, I just did a video with this. This is like a Ed Lead Skullman permanent magnet holder. It's just a bent piece of metal from my fence and I, bu I wrap bucking coils on it which is one layer of 24, number 24 magnet wire and I got about probably a half a watt out of it which is, I think it's a lot considering what little amount of wire that's on here and so I've got this other thing over here and this is basically the same thing uh, it's it's a segmented core from a motor bucking coils about an eighth, eighth of an inch wrap on there I don't know how many feet that is but it's probably less than probably 150 maybe 250 somewhere in there and I've got just this little bit I just want to show you what it'll do real quick and uh, let me get this up here a little bit turn this on this is a 3 8 so I say 3 8 by 3 8 diametrically opposed diametrically magnetized spin magnet rotary magnet tube magnet whatever you want to call it and so this is set on milliamp I don't seem to be getting any milliamp out of here. I don't know why, but it should be doing something. So let's get it. Let's get a volts here. And I'm sure I can get some volts out of it. If I put it right in the center there, it gets about 2.4, 2.5. I can get it higher or lower depending on how fast the magnet spins. And so, I wish I could get the amps out of it. I'm not sure if I can get milliamps. Let me try one more time here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know it read something before, but let me... Uh, Okay. okay, next video I'm going to use this with the whole core and see what that does.